it's very common for people to want to resize their pictures, not necessarily crop, but resize. And you cannot resize a picture inside of iPhoto. You have to export it to do that. So let's take a look at a couple of options for how to resize pictures by exporting them from iPhoto. First thing I would do is go into Finder and set up a folder within two folders actually within pictures so you should have a pictures folder on your Mac right there in Finder and inside of pictures I've set up a folder called export from my photo as you see there and a folder called resize and of course to set up a folder inside of pictures you would just choose file and new folder and give it that appropriate name so what we're going to do is export the pictures out from my photo right here and then if we want to resize them we're going to put the resized copies into this folder you don't necessarily have to do that if you just want if you know you want to resize everything you're exporting you could just have one folder and do it all within there so the first thing we do in iPhoto is we select which pictures we want to export Now that may be a smart album as I have here it may be a selection of pictures within an album or an event and you learn all about that in different videos at I rock my Mac but I've got about six pictures here within this smart album I'm just going to drag and drop across those pictures to highlight them if I wanted to highlight all of the pictures within this album maybe I've built this album and these are all the pictures I want to export then I could use the keyboard command command a and that will highlight all of those pictures it tells me at the top right that I have 25 photos selected but for this exercise so that we don't have to mess around with 25 pictures we're just going to again select in this case I'm going to shift click and select maybe these five pictures and we're going to export these so we go to file and we choose export and when we choose export we have some different options that we can set for the quality of the picture the kind that we want to export in so if you want to convert it to a different type or file format you can choose that here you can choose to go ahead and export in full size if you want and you can resize within preview which you'll see in a minute or you can choose a default size of small medium or large now there's really no set definition of what these sizes are the best thing I can tell you is just to play around with these export a few photos and in each of those sizes of small medium and large and see how they come out full size is obviously the full size of the picture as it already exists in iPhoto or you can choose custom now the custom options here are a bit limited you can choose a maximum dimension height or width so for example if I choose width of 300 pixels that will be 300 wide and then the aspect ratio will determine the height so if it's a 4 by 3 picture and I set it at 300 wide then it'll be 400 high uh, I could do the same thing with the height and just determine the height then the width will be set based on the aspect ratio or the dimension of pixels I can choose uh, as well so again you can play around with those and see how they export and what you like and then file name you can choose to assign or use the title of the picture the file name of the picture or you can give it a sequential name or you can give it the album number or the album name rather with a number so sequential would mean I want to do something like export for blog if you're exporting these for a blog or maybe you're exporting them for a family album or something like that you give it whatever name you want and then it's five pictures it will be export for blog one two three four five so based on all the settings that I choose here and the sizes then when I hit export it's then going to pop up a finder window and in the finder window I will determine where I want to put it so I would go into pictures and then I would go to export from my photo and I would say okay and that is going to export those five pictures and I set the dimension to 300 pixels so if we go back into finder and we open up our export from my photo and we go into icon view which is the best view for pictures because you can see the sizes if you don't see the sizes underneath your pictures here just right click out into a white area go to show view options and in the show view options you can choose to show item info you'll notice is that checkbox is checked those sizes go on and off so that you can see the sizes as you display the pictures in icon view now you'll notice what it's done here is the pictures that were taller they were more of a portrait type of format it set the height to 300 and the pictures that were more horizontal or landscape it has set the width to 300 and then it adjusts the other height or width based on the aspect ratio so that's what it does when you choose dimension as we did in iPhoto or again you could have set the width or set the height and then had it adjust the ratios accordingly so that's how you export a batch of pictures and set them to a specific ratio or size if you need to specifically size a picture to a specific uh, dimension that you want to set then you need to do that within an application called preview and that's a standard application on your Mac if it's on your dock 
it's that icon right there and if it's sitting on your dock then you can just take the picture that you want to resize and you can just drag and drop it right on top of that dock icon that will launch preview and open it up if it's not on your dock and you need to launch preview then you would go into your applications folder or my preferred way to launch applications would be just command spacebar type in preview that will be both my top hit and one that will be listed under my applications and I can left click there to open preview now once you're in preview the picture will be displayed let's go ahead and take and make this a little bit bigger you have a sidebar that you can choose to turn on or turn off if we show the sidebar if I had brought multiple pictures into preview they would be displayed there so let's take this one picture and let's bring it over into preview so you notice, notice now I have two pictures I can select either picture or both pictures whichever one I want to do I can go under tools and I can choose adjust size so at this point I can set a specific width or height I can have it maintain and scale proportionately meaning it maintains the aspect ratio so if I want to set this to a width of 300 this will be a height of 400 so it's maintaining that aspect ratio or I can choose to uncheck that box and make this picture any size I want of course doing that will start to, to perhaps change the look of the picture and it may not uh, look right if you lose the aspect ratio so this is not that dissimilar to what you did when you exported through iPhoto but you're able to do it for a specific picture versus when you do it as a batch of pictures out of iPhoto it sets that width or height to all of those pictures that you exported so perhaps if I've done this, if I've set this picture, let's put this maybe a little bit bigger. Let's set it to a 600 by 800. We say OK. You're going to see the picture get bigger there. And this is when I may want to go under File and Save As and save this resized picture. Maybe I've resized it a second time. I might now want to go into my Pictures folder and I might want to move down here and choose Resize and double click that. And now I can hit Save. I can also change the format and save it as any of these. You'll notice there's more format options here within preview than there were in iPhoto and change that format option there so let's just change this to a PNG file and hit save so now I have this picture in two different folders and export from iPhoto it's 225 by 300 if we back up and we go into our resize folder it is in here at 600 by 800 which is what I set in preview now that this picture is on my hard drive, I can drag and drop it or upload it or attach it to anything I want. A web page, a blog, an email, what have you. I'm not restricted by having it inside of my iPhoto library. So there you go. That's a brief overview of how to resize pictures by exporting them from iPhoto.